Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am here with a large super tarsal, so I'm just going to jump right in and get started. The first thing I'm going to start off with is the sample and this is iced berry tea. And when I smell this on cold, it almost smells like a blueberry, like just a straight up blueberry scent. Um, I don't really get much of a tea note from this one, just mainly like a strong blueberry scent. Let's just move this. Um, I have 14 clamshells from the Wizard Wax collection, and I have five from um, just random collection, so I'm just going to start with those five. The first one we have is Luke, and this one is Buttermilk Pancakes, Donuts, and Maple Glazed Bacon. And this says, doesn't matter what time it is, I'll always be around. And this is a very interesting blend. I kind of pick up a slight perfumey note. It's slightly bakery. I would think it would be more bakery. Um, I don't pick up any maple note or a bacon note. Maybe just like a buttermilk pancake. Maybe that's where I'm kind of getting the perfumey note. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. I'm excited to see what this one would um, smell like on warm. See what comes out. The next one we have is Hey Mitch, and this is Frangelico chocolate chip cookies and ice cream scoop bread. And Frangelico, I believe, is like a hazelnut um, alcohol. Hazelnut, like chocolate alcohol. And this is the top. And the bottom. It's two toned, sorry. And I definitely do pick up a slight alcoholy note um I do get that chocolate chip cookie note I don't really pick up too much of that ice cream scoop bread it's mainly just a very good chocolatey kind of alcoholy scent <laughs> the next one we have is Oz and this one is ginger ale key lime custard and birthday cake what is that? Birthday cake pie? Hmm. Pieces? Maybe that's cut off? I don't know. Anyway, this one is two toned. Here's the top. All that glitter. And I love ginger ale scents. Yeah, and this one is amazing. I love it. I don't pick up any birthday cake. Um,. I mainly get a 50-50 blend of that key lime ginger ale. It kind of reminds me of like a 7-Up um, because of that key lime. It's very good. And I pick up a slight fizzy note in this. It's not overpowering on that fizzy effervescent note. It's a very good blend. The next one we have here is Pippin. And this is blue sugar, orange marshmallow fluff, and blue cotton candy. This is what the bottom looks like. And it's just got the name. Oh my god. <laughs> this one is amazing. So good. You pick up that orange and the blue sugar. Um, it's a very refreshing but also masculine scent. It's super strong, probably one of my favorites. I will definitely order more of this. So good. So good. <laughs> the next one we have is tart um sorry, Starfleet and this is zucchini bread, jelly donut and sugar cookie. And I love the blue glitter, super pretty and so it says uh boldly go boldly Go, sorry. <laughs> and the only thing I'm getting from this 
is that creamy zucchini bread note. I don't pick up any like jelly or fruit note from a jelly. Um, mainly just a very creamy, strong bakery zucchini scent. Alright, we're going to get into the Harry Potter collection. So first I'm going to start with Remus. And this is mahogany teakwood, cardamom, apple, and rum cake. And I love that they have the little bow tie on there. This one, oh, it's amazing. Such a good blend. I don't pick up much of that mahogany teak wood, which is good because it can come off super strong. Um, I do get that apple mixed with the rum cake and that slight hint of that spicy cardamom. It's not overly spicy. It's a very, very good blend. I was worried about this one because of that mahogany note, but I don't really get too much of it on cold. The next one we have is Soul Suckers, and this is Death in the K, which is a lush type in strawberry slices. I'm not really sure what Death in the K is. I don't really, I never shop at Lush, so I'm not sure. And this is the top. It just says Patronus. And I do get that strawberry note, but I also get like a floral, a slight floral note. It's very nice. So like a strawberry floral note to that one. The next one we have is Sirius. And this is blackberry, sandalwood, and a hint of black pepper. Two-toned. Little design. Oh my god, this one is amazing. Like, all of these are amazing. <laughs> um, I do get the sweet blackberry scent. Her blackberry is phenomenal. It's very authentic. It's not floral to me. I get a hint of that black pepper, like it says. A little bit of spiciness. Um, the sandalwood definitely comes out. It's a very nice blend. The next one is Butterbeer, and this is sweet butterscotch topped with a dollop of sweet cream. And this one has all that pretty glitter. And that is exactly what I get, a very sweet, creamy butterscotch scent. So that was Butterbeer. The next one we have here is Harry, and this is Magically Delicious and French Baguette. I love the little glasses and his little scar. Super cute. This one, I do get that Magically Delicious, which is her um, Lucky Charms. It's a very creamy, marshmallowy scent with a hint of that fresh baked bread. It's not yeasty or anything. It's not like a nasty yeasty bread note. It's a very um, creamy bakery uh, blend. The next one we have here is Hedwig. And this is chai tea, creamy cheesecake, and clove. And it's got like a little owl imprint. If you guys could see the little owl. And this one is very, obviously very spicy. Um, I pick up a slight hint of like a cheesecake creamy note, but it's not sour in any way. Um, just a spicy, sweet uh, scent. Okay, the next one we have is Hermione, 
and this is Magically Delicious and Strawberry Filled Cannoli. This one's two-toned. And the little books. And the only thing I'm really picking up is a very sweet strawberry scent. I don't know really what a cannoli would smell like in wax. I don't get a bakery note. Um, just a very sweet, creamy strawberry scent. Put that one up there. The next one we have is Dobby, and this is Linen Sock, Ocean Mist, and Dune Grass. And I love that she put a little sock imprint, like, you know, a sock for his freedom. This is an amazing spa, very fresh spa scent. It almost smells, because of that linen sock, it almost smells um, kind of like a laundry scent to me. It's very nice, clean, and refreshing. Okay, the next one we have is Mad-Eye Moody. <laughs> it is black cedarwood, rain, and juniper berries. This one's two-toned. It's got the little googly eye. Very cute. And this one is very nice. It's very strong. It, it smells um, very strongly of like a cologne, a very masculine cologne scent. I don't pick up like a berry note. This one is super nice. Very manly scent. Okay, the next one we have here is Neville. And this is Fresh herbs, grapefruit, and marshmallow fluff. If I can get that open. There we go. Got a little frog imprint, excuse me, with some leaves. And it's lighter on the bottom. And this is a very refreshing, clean scent. Um... It almost smells kind of like a grass, like grass to me, with a little bit of hint, little hint of that grapefruit kind of tart note, but mainly just a very nice green, green grass type of scent. Okay, the next one we have is Dumbledore, and this is apple slices, pink chiffon, and blue cotton candy. Here's the top. And I was surprised when I smelled this one. I thought like, you know, a perfumey note with apple would be a little strange, but this one blends so well. It's a very crisp, but also feminine, fruity scent. It's very nice and clean and crisp. It's just very good. The next one we have is Ravenclaw, and this is Blue Raspberry in Lavender. White on the bottom. And this is the top. And I don't pick up much of like a Blue Raspberry type scent. I mainly just get her Sweet Lavender. It's very, um, very powdery, but it's, it's nice. It's probably, uh, probably use this scent at nighttime when I'm heading to bed. I feel like this is a very relaxing scent. The next one we have is Umbridge, and this is Tea and Cakes, Sugar Dusted Roses, and Cotton Candy. Here's the back of it. And the front, just got a little teacup. Love it.
And on cold, I do get a 50-50 blend of that tea and cakes in the sugar-dusted roses. It's not overly strong on that floral rose note. It's a very nice feminine, but also bakery scent. They go super well together. And I love the packaging on here. I love the little, it has like her little cake plates, or her cat plates, sorry. <laughs> And the last one we have is Voldemort, and this is Cactus and Sea Salt, Ocean Breeze, Vanilla Bean, Noel, Red Delicious Apple, which is Cactus and Sea Salt blended with the Omen. Obviously, it says Dark Lord. And this is probably one of my favorite um, Omen blends that she has. It's very clean, spa-like, very refreshing. This will be a great blend for the springtime, so I'm probably going to melt this soon. It's very, it's just a very refreshing scent. I love it. Alrighty, guys. That was my Super Tarts haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of these scents or if you've tried any of them out. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Bye!